Hello and welcome back to Willow's Notes. In today's video, we will talk all about the interface. A cell spends 90% of its life in interface. It is the period of time that the cell lives its life. And the last 10% is the mitotic phase, which includes mitosis and cytokinesis. This is the period of time in which the cell divides. The cell is an active entity. It is constantly building molecules, breaking molecules. In one word, it is undergoing metabolic activities. And most importantly, it is growing. Interphase is divided into three subphases, G1, S, and G2. G1 stands for gap one because initially they thought that this is a gap phase in which the cell does nothing. But that's not the case. As you can see in this animation, the cell grows in size. It synthesizes proteins, makes organelles, and it carries out its functions. The cell is active and it's definitely not in a gap phase. In the S phase, synthesis, DNA replication takes place. Why? Why does the DNA duplicate? In preparation for cell division, so that when the cell divides, the two daughter cells can have identical copies of the DNA. The cell does not stop growing in the S phase just because it is replicating its DNA. The cell keeps growing in all the phases G1, S, and G2. G2, or GAP2, is the phase that follows synthesis. Again, during this phase, the cell is making proteins, it's growing. One example of proteins are the microtubules that are needed in mitosis. So now let's test our knowledge with this question. Pause the video, try to answer them, and then hit play so that we can go over it together. The first question says, how does the amount of DNA in the cell change in each phase of the cell cycle? Let's start with the phases of interface, G1, S, and G2. In G1, the amount of DNA per cell is at 1x, and it stays 1x all throughout G1, which makes sense, right? Because G1, or gap 1, is the phase where the cell is growing, it's working on its organelles and proteins, but there's no duplication, there's no replication of DNA. And that's why the amount of DNA stays constant at 1x. However, once we go to the S phase, we can clearly see that the amount of DNA had went up from 1x to 2x. Why? Because it is during this stage that DNA replication takes place. All throughout the G2 phase, the amount of DNA stays constant at 2x because in the G2 phase, nothing is really happening. There's no division just yet. So as we reach the mitotic phase, we can see that the amount of DNA goes back from 2x to 1x. Why? Because the cell at this point has divided into two cells, splitting the DNA content into two. In question two, what is the percent change in the DNA content from G1 to G2? The general formula to find the change in percent is always the final minus initial divided by initial. And of course, at the end, we have to multiply the whole thing by 100 because we want to get it in percent. What is our final value? It's 2x, right? minus initial 1x divided by initial 1x. 2 minus 1 is 1. So I'm going to end up having 1x divided by 1x, which is 1. And if I multiply by 100, I will get 100%. I am sure that this was so obvious because you know that if something goes from 1x to 2x, if something doubles, that's a 100% increase. But for those of you who find it challenging, just apply the formula and you will get 
to the same answer. E. Now what about B? From G1 to the end of M. From G1 to the end of M. I think this one is straightforward. It doesn't even need to apply the formula because in the beginning it was 1x and by the end of M we go back to 1x. So in this case the percent change is 0%. This was it for today's video. I really hope you found it useful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.